Welcome to this overview of the process of applying to graduate school in chemistry. I'm Professor Brian Gibney, the Executive Officer of the City University of New York PhD program in chemistry here at the CUNY Graduate Center and a faculty member at Brooklyn College. My colleagues and I are excited that you're considering graduate studies with us. Our goal is to educate and train the next generation of leaders in the chemical sciences. The PhD is the highest degree offered in any discipline. The PhD in chemistry is awarded for significant and original contributions to the field based on research described in a dissertation. Thus, the PhD is a research-based degree. You can't earn it solely in a classroom like a bachelor's or master's degree. Your PhD qualifies you not only to work as a chemistry professional, but also to lead a research team. It is the door to access an intellectually challenging career. Having a PhD demonstrates that you're an expert problem solver committed to lifelong learning, and therefore it carries many advantages. For instance, data from the American Chemical Society shows that PhDs have higher salaries and lower rates of unemployment than chemists with master's or bachelor's degrees. The PhD also opens up a greater range of employment opportunities. These include traditional careers in industry, government labs, and academia, as well as alternative careers in science writing, patent law, and consulting, just to name a few. Your PhD provides you with options and the ability to adapt over time. Before you commit to pursuing your PhD degree, it's wise to do a little self-reflection to understand your motivations in making this decision. How would you answer each of the following questions? Why are you pursuing a PhD? How does a PhD fit into your career plans? What do you want to contribute to the chemical sciences? The most successful graduate students are those who understand themselves well enough to know their own answers to these questions. Other students never stop to consider these questions and may never complete their studies. You need to think through your decision and determine if PhD studies in chemistry are the best course of action for you at this time. We suggest that you review the ACS Guide to Graduate Studies that is available online in order to evaluate your decision to apply to and your expectations for graduate school. This guide discusses your motivations, the differences between undergraduate and graduate studies, what to look for in a program and in a mentor, and what to expect as a PhD student and as a teaching assistant. If after reviewing this guide you're committed to PhD studies, then we welcome your application to our program. The CUNY PhD program is unique in that it is a consortium of seven distinct colleges. This gives our program a breadth and diversity unparalleled in other PhDs. You will apply to and your PhD will be granted by the CUNY Graduate Center. However, your research will be with a faculty member at one of the CUNY campuses or at the CUNY Advanced Science Research Center. This structure provides the program with its distinguishing characteristics, diversity, and scale. All students admitted to the PhD program in chemistry are awarded CUNY Science Scholarships. These scholarships provide a competitive stipend, low-cost health insurance, and tuition remission. They're guaranteed for five years as long as you remain in good standing with the program. In order to take advantage of the research opportunities at CUNY, you first need to apply to the program. The remainder of this video will describe the process of assembling a competitive application. This slide pr provides an overview of the process. Your application is due January 1st. It will be reviewed by the admissions committee, and if successful, you'll receive an offer of admission by March 1st. You'll have until April 15th to accept or decline the offer, and you'll begin your graduate studies in mid-August. Given on this slide is a list of required and optional documents for your application. Your college transcripts are required. Please send them after the grades for fall 2016 have been recorded. If you have transcripts from multiple schools, please send them all. If you have master's or PhD transcripts, please send them as well. If your transcripts are not in English, then a translation must be provided. You'll also have to send your graduate record examination or GRE scores. The GRE is given in October and November, but you must register in September for the exam. 
If you miss the November GRE, the next one's given in February, and your scores will not be reported to the Graduate Center until March. This will severely hurt your chances for admission. You will also need at least two letters of recommendation, but competitive applicants include three. You want to request letters from people who can evaluate your potential for research. The best letters come from faculty who know you and with whom you've done research. International students will also need to send in TOEFL or ILETS test scores. Lastly, you'll need to provide a personal statement that describes your interest in chemistry and in CUNY and how you see a CUNY PhD as part of your career trajectory. You may send in your GRE subject exam score or copies of your published research papers, but these are not required. If you do provide published research papers, include in your personal statement an indication of your contribution to that research. All these documents are submitted online via the Hobson's Apply Yourself website. You can find a link to the application on the CUNY Graduate Center website. When you apply, you need only submit unofficial copies of your transcripts and GRE scores. These will be used to evaluate your application. Once you're accepted, you can then supply the official copies. The Admissions Committee will begin reviewing applications in late January. The committee has representatives from each CUNY campus, and they're looking for the best applicants that fit the research opportunities here at CUNY. They review all applicants in detail, and no single part of the application is more important than the others in this review. Your documents tell a story about you. If you feel that they do not truly reflect your potential as a researcher, the personal statement is the one place where you can put those details into context and talk to the committee directly. As I stated, the personal statement is the one place where you can argue your case for admission before the admissions committee. You want to explain your interest in CUNY in terms of research opportunities and potential faculty mentors. In doing so, you want to have done your homework so that you can discuss these details intelligently and you want to discuss them in a genuine fashion. Obviously, a student with a 4.0 GPA from a respected college with a perfect GRE score and several publications will put together a very competitive application, but that's not the standard applicant. You want to review your documents and evaluate what aspect of it might be weak, and you can address this in your personal statement. For example, you want to take some time in the personal statement to explain why you got a C in organic chemistry too, just like I did. Since the admissions committee diligently studies your transcripts, they will notice things like GPA improvement over time or success in master's or graduate work. These things will help mitigate other weaknesses. At CUNY, we find that students who have not had a course in quantum chemistry, which is typically called physical chemistry too, do not do well in our required quantum course. As such, if you've not had a quantum course, we may ask you to take one and then reapply the program the following year. Lastly, I want to thank you for your time in listening to this presentation. My colleagues and I are excited to welcome your application to our program, and we look forward to writing the next chapter of your career at CUNY.